Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-September. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Sorry, I got distracted for one second. Um, if this one doesn't resonate, please check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you, you will subscribe and also hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. All right, so if you would like a personal reading. For those of you that are new, I am a psychic medium, so I don't use tarot in my personal readings. So I just want to let everybody know um, that hasn't already been with me before. Okay, and that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel if you'd like to reach out for that. All right, let's see what we've got going on. The overall energy right now, we have the King of Cups. So a couple of messages are popping up right away. This could be your energy. You could be feeling um, really strongly, really emotionally strong around something. It's I almost feel like you're standing your ground. It's like you know what your love language is. You don't question yourself when it comes to your ability to love others. No doubt about it. That's one message. The other message is you could be feeling a lot of love from, uh, th this is a father figure who's also very loving and supportive for some of you. And you just could have either recently spoken to this person or be thinking about this person. For those of you that may have lost somebody, I am so sorry, but their energy is around. And I'm just going to bring that up and say this person is really wanting you to understand that they're always there and giving you so much love and support. All right, so in the recent past, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Swords. So there's something that you got really, really clear about that it seems like you're not going after any longer. At one point, it may have made you really happy, but at the same time, it also stressed you out. And I feel like at the time, you just weren't sure. You didn't have clarity about something. Maybe you felt like there was um, different options, different things that... You needed to explore and you weren't sure why you weren't feeling quite settled in your energy. That makes sense because the King of Cups is saying you, you've gotten clear about that. So you really know what you want, whether it be in a partner or um, what you have to offer. And I always say that's amazing when you can figure that out because then you know what you're looking for and you're not going to settle for anything less than that. So in the current energy, we have the Knight of Swords. You've got somebody who's really quiet. Um, if this person's on your mind right now, they're not taking any action, the Page of Pentacles, but it looks like at some point, whoever this is that might have either ghosted you or gone quiet or just isn't communicating right now, I feel like is going to make an effort. You're going to see like a small little, hey, how are you? What's going on? This could be anybody in your life. It doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. It could be friends, somebody you'd lost touch with, uh, a sibling even that you hadn't heard from that hasn't that you haven't had a lot of communication with. This is just going to be kind of a token of, hey, I'm thinking about you. In the near future, we have the two of cups. Interesting because this is something really important, I guess, for you guys. Those of you that are single, this is saying that um, your desires lie here. I think most people's do. You want somebody who really sees you and gets you and is on the same level with you emotionally. Again, the King of Cups saying that you are sure about what you deserve, what you want, and what you have to offer. So in the near future, it seems like somebody is coming into your experience. This is saying, pay attention to your intuition. If you haven't in the past, it's going to be important. This is not spirit making a choice for you. This is you. This is all about your free will choice. That's interesting because I don't normally get that. Of course, I mentioned free will. But in this case, it's like spirit wants to take a step back and say, this is a choice you have to make for you. Do you want this? Does it feel right to you? You have to learn how to trust your intuition. If you're sure about that and you found a way, you know, what I call figuring out your love language, great. And that's about everything in your life. What makes you feel the best? Is it a situation where somebody comes in and, you know, offers a little bit and you're willing to open back up and give it, give it a try again? Maybe friendship, partnership, or family member, that's up to you. Totally up to you. This isn't one of those things where spirit's going to intervene. 
Usually they'll help if you need it and you ask for it, but in this case, I just don't feel like they, they're going to. It's like you've learned some really valuable lessons. You've gotten really clear here. There's no confusion about this. If something hadn't worked or there's a lack of communication, you know better than to repeat that. So even if somebody does come back around with all these retrogrades, it seems like it's popping up in everybody's readings, of course. We all are aware, if you're watching tarot, that six planets are in retrograde. So there's a lot of things that could come up from the past that are going to test you and test just how much you've really learned about yourself and how much you value the love that you have to give. So the challenge for you is the chariot. Movement. Some of you, it may be a challenge to have to move away from a situation that you felt so connected to. Um, it could also just be that you want to just move forward, especially if you've been having little rifts with family members and you're at a point where you just want to make things work. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. A lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of water energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody pretty much. So Sag, Leo, Aries. And the challenge is going to be to move forward because a lot of this is internal. This doesn't necessarily have to do with the battle. You won the battle. You've overcome a lot of different things. But the war that goes on within is different. When we cut people out of our lives, we may feel like, okay, I've made a really good decision, but the internal battle is the one that we have the biggest challenge with. So moving forward may be a challenge for you right now because you still have some things going on internally that haven't been fully dealt with. All right, so let's see what we get with clarification. For those of you that haven't talked to a father in a long time, call your father if he's still with us. If he's not, he's definitely here. Uh, uh, yes, I can get multiple spirits that will pop up if they know you're going to be watching this, this video. It's incredible how it works. I promise you they're there, but just make that phone call. So the strength in reverse, something definitely wore you down, no doubt about it. And if it was a difficult past relationship or this family situation, whatever it was, it seems to have drained you a bit. Maybe back in August, you were feeling a little less motivated and now it's like, okay, I'm recharging myself and I'm filling up with lots of love and positive energy, which is great. Death in, re in reverse. So you've already gone through this transformation. Something had to happen and you've been shifted through it. Going through a spiritual awakening or any kind of experience like this is exhausting. If you really have um, dove deep into it, you understand that anytime there's shifts in cycles astrologically or there's other things happening, it can make you really tired during that time. But it's also important to take that time because it's teaching you something important. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. You had to go through this because you needed to learn how to balance things out. In other words, you needed to, to learn that receiving is important. We shouldn't have to fight for people to show up in a relationship in any way, shape, or form, regardless of what their title is. So I think here the lesson was getting really clear about people who were taking more than they were giving. The Seven of Cups with the Nine of Swords. We've got the Empress. See, this is you owning yourself Again, after getting really clear and not going towards things that weren't fulfilling or that were stressing you out, this is saying you're birthing new things. She's embodying like just beauty and positivity and spirituality and lots of amazing things. This could be getting ready to step out into the world and allow yourself to be seen again. Some of you could have been quite reclusive lately. She's just really happy in her own skin. And I like that. So the Nine of Swords with the King of, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Then we have the King of Pentacles because this is a good balance between your masculine and your feminine energy. Individually, I don't feel like this is somebody outside of yourself. Could some of you have a really cool boss that, you know, pushes and empowers you? Absolutely. This could also be a father figure. Again, that's very stable. That gives good sound advice. But to me, this is you balancing out the two major energies within and obviously the pentacles are earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, you could be touching on that area of your chart really strongly right now and feeling really empowered. Like you finally taken back control of your circumstances. That was in the recent past. So the Knight of Swords with the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords. If somebody's not reaching out or not wanting to communicate, this is you, yes, being hurt, being 
uh, betrayed in some way and not wanting to deal with it anymore. So if this person comes about and has something to say, you're going to have to think this through before you make a decision. Like I said, spirit's not going to step in and make one for you. This is, you have to make a, a choice for yourself. I would definitely think it through and take your time because if somebody's betrayed you in the past, doesn't mean that they will always betray you in the future, but you have to use those gut feelings, that intuition to ask yourself, is this going to happen again? I just went through it. Like I'm not um, immune to any of the lessons just because I do this work and I understand it doesn't mean that I don't like every other human know what it's like when somebody returns from a fam, like a family member or someone that you just wish would be what you hope they would be. And it just keeps hurting you over and over again. So think this through before you make that choice. For most of you, I think you're pretty, pretty good at keeping your boundary set. Two of cups with the high priestess, three of swords in reverse. So this is definitely healing from a past situation and possibly giving this person another chance. The high priestess judgment. We have the four of cups. So in this particular deck, he's actually looking straight at the cup. Well, it's in reverse. So you may not. You know, a part of you may say, I'm going to take it slow. I'm not really going to open myself up right away, but we'll see what happens. The chariot with the five of swords, the challenge. The challenge is always for any of us to love ourselves first, to nurture ourselves first. And in this case, in order to move on, it's saying that whatever this internal battle is that you might be having with yourself is about choosing you. And if you've been raised in a family or had circumstances in your life where people would punish you for choosing yourself, that can be really hard to unlearn. So if you've had a difficult childhood or you had challenges where people made you feel like you were either selfish or something was wrong with you, that could be the internal battle that you're working through right now. And that's what's going to help you move forward. But it's been a challenge for you recently to do so. You're not selfish. When you take care of yourself, you're not selfish. You're taking care of you. But for some reason in this particular lifetime, we're being told first that it's selfish to take care of you. That's just a, a glitch in the past generations of people who didn't believe that they deserved what they wanted. And we're growing out of that now as we're in the age of Aquarius versus the age of Pisces that had lasted for 280 some years. Okay, now I'm going to clear this and we're going to get into the person that's on your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So think about them for just a second while we do this. Let's see what, yeah, the King of Cups is going to stay. Usually it's the overall that will sit on top when I clear the cards. But self-love. Knowing yourself, loving, I just keep wanting to repeat the same thing. I'm not going to beat it to death, but it's just being empowered by your emotions, your healthy emotions. All right, let's see what's going on with you and your person. This is for Virgo. All right, so your person's energy is the Nine of Cups, okay, meaning that, that ooh, okay, You've got somebody who really knows who they are and what they want. Um, the fulfillment is there, but the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. It's saying that they haven't quite learned how to give the same. You could have someone who's pretty sure of themselves, but not really sure how to move forward. So they feel a little bit stuck. They know you're the person that they want. Um, they definitely don't mince words. Like, I feel like this person really strikes when the iron's hot. Like, they know exactly what they want and they're going to go for it. So there may be some balancing out that still needs to be done and maybe they're not sure how to do that. I don't think they're taking any action right now to figure that out. If you're currently with this person, just know that their feelings are there. They love you very much. They're very fulfilled by the relationship. And if it hasn't gotten to the love point, don't worry about that. They're, they could be a little bit controlling too. So there may be a little battle of the wills between the two of you, but I think the intention's good. And if I didn't think it was, I'd tell you. If you've been with me, you, you know that. High Priestess, you have a trouble trusting your intuition when it comes to this. Some of you, uh, you may have thought you were going to marry this person. You may be married to this person. And maybe a part of you felt like you ignored your intuition in the past and that was a problem. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, in your mind, things did not work out well. So you may have walked away in the past because it didn't end up 
turning out the way that you had hoped it would. But I do think what you desire is this ultimately, and it could be with this person. Maybe you don't fully want to walk away from him, but you did in the past. And now you're like, well, how do we do this? Do, do we want to make this work? Do we stick it out? Uh, for those of you that are together, I think your intention is to settle down and you're definitely that person's wish fulfillment. So the question is, what do you want? Let's see. Let's see what the romance angel says. And then we'll get some advice. See if there's anything else that spirit wants to tell you. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you may decide to take a break and then worth waiting for. I feel this really strongly. Divine timing is at love in your, or I'm sorry, at work in your love life. For those of you that are deciding that you want this to work out, I think it's worth waiting for. For those of you that don't want to, and this is not ever going to balance itself out, then it's worth waiting for the person who does want the same things that you want. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. For the newer relationships, maybe you're willing to wait it out to see. Doesn't mean that people can't balance out if you're just getting to know each other. But if you've been in a situation and you still don't quite feel like you know each other, maybe you need to be a little bit more clear what your intentions are, what it is that you want from the relationship. Allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy. This is about being very passionate. And then romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let's see what the advice might be for you. What's the advice? I'm going to get more like an... Uh, they're telling me outcome, so I want to get more of like an outcome of the situation. The cards will read differently for me. The Six of Pentacles, things will balance out. Ten of Cups, pure happiness, partnership and happiness, the sun. You saw me shuffle the cards. It's ironic that these three cards came out the way that they did, even though I shuffled, because they came out with the Taurus reading. In this order, I believe, almost. There was the death card in between. This is saying things are going to balance out. And for those of you that really want this, you know that ultimately this is what's going to make you happy. You could be dealing with a Leo. So, yep, and then the death card, they had me look at the bottom. So the same four cards, you could be dealing with the Taurus as well, have come out. So this is a good indication things are going to work out. All right, let's see what the Lover's Oracle has. Okay. Let me get that straight. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. That's going to be important for a lot of people. Uh, it could be them. It could be you. Um, if there was something in the situation that happened. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. There you go. They always are. You connect in all kinds of interesting ways. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Secret admire. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Didn't I tell you? Wasn't that part of your first part of your reading where somebody might approach you? Or was that Taurus? No, I think it was you. All right, one last card and then we'll move on. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I feel like that's important. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. Now, they keep showing me the why card. The questions we always ask, why? Why can't it just be what we want it to be? Most of us are shifting into this energy. Um, you're going to see, because you chose to come in during this time as a soul, you're going to see how things develop in this new age. It's going to be very different than the way we recorded humanity in the past. We are going to start finding balance in relationships. We are going to find much more ease in love and in life. That's what we're bringing to this experience. So it is going to be very different than it was in the past. Okay, there it is. The questions of why. Why do these things have to happen? It's not a simple answer, but it is a simple answer because you came here to learn some really valuable lessons. It's part of soul school, if you will. So that's why it can be painful. That's why all of the things that we we do, um, we question. Why? Why would we want to come here and experience this? I get that. You could be 31, born on the 31st, if that makes sense in your birthday. I don't remember right offhand. The 4th, the 3rd, or the 1st of the month. 
um, here and now. So focusing on the energy of what's happening right now. Threes are going to be significant for some of you. They're showing up. You could be 32, born on the 5th, the 3rd, or the 2nd of the month. Co-create. Always. You're always co-creating with the universe, your guides, whoever you believe in, what you um, feel exists, and or the people that you surround yourself with. So remember that when you want to create something, make sure you have the right energies around you when you do so. 40, you could be 40 or born on the fourth of the month. And then we have chaos and conflict. See, the threes are coming out. So pay attention to what's coming up for you. If it seems like it's chaotic and, and full of conflict, that's what you don't want to continue to entertain. Like I said earlier, it could be hard for you, that inner conflict that you have to move forward. But working through that, letting go of any resentment or past situations could be what helps you get to that place. You could be 33, born on the 3rd or the 6th. Look out for 333. That's going to be important. It's going to give you some guidance into what's going on. So just focus on what's going happening, what you're thinking and feeling at the time you see those numbers. That's going to be super important. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I hope you guys enjoy your mid-month. Love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.